Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing a little project share, but also a little assembly tutorial. So let's get straight to it. I am going to be featuring some Scrap Diva Designs um, dies today. Make sure to use coupon code PATTY10 if you are inspired to pick up any of these dies um, that I share with you. And then um, also make sure that you are following the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs um, to get lots of inspiration and tutorials. This from is my first little project share right here. I am over the moon with this. Okay, so when I saw this die, immediately I thought Christmas. And then my friend Marissa, who is also on the um, design team, she posted a Halloween themed um, door mini album. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have a little skelly that would look so cute coming out of the door. So this was inspired by Marissa's um, door. I think she made a card with hers. Um, but anyway, I made a little mini album and I used a lot of scrap diva dies so this is the little bow banner you guys i think it's out of stock if it gets restocked you absolutely need to pick it up because it's good for every season of the year and look how chunky and just perfect it is you can put it on a lot of things so it's a really great die to have for embellishing your projects and then i have the mintopia skelly back here i used a lot of the mintopia dies as well i have the halloween one the little bats in that die set have been perfect for every project that i've had this season it comes with little ghosts and little pumpkins i'll insert a little picture here and of course I'm gonna have them all linked in the description of this video a lot of them are sold out already the Mintopia ones on uh, scrapdivadesigns.com but I'll still add them on just in case they're in stock for sure though this is all about this door mini album so when I saw this I thought Christmas I thought it would be really cute to do like a little Christmas tree scene maybe a Santa um, through the window that kind of thing it comes with a lot of pieces um, I love that it comes with a piece to create the spine of your mini album. I turned mine into a little embellishment book. I did some pockets right here. I'll have the measurements of the pockets in the description of this video as well. It's super easy. It's basically just a pocket right here. And then on this side, I did like a little accordion fold. So I did three pockets on this side, but I'll have the measurements in the description of the video because um, it's really easy to put together. I don't think you really need a tutorial for that, but I am just so in love with how it looks. And then I just grabbed some dies from the, some die cuts from the To Die For swap that I am hosting, and I stuck them in here just to give it a nice full look. Um, I think it's really cute. I wanted to put one of these little brooms right here. I think I'll do that. Um, just really, really cute, you guys. And this is one of the Mintopia dies as well. Like, Oh, it's a stamp and die set <laughs> and I'm so in love with it. It has a whole bunch of little um, sentiments that you can stamp and different style of banners and a little skull and it's just really cute. Um, I don't know if it's still available but I'll link it. We have the heart alpha. We use that all the time. Um, so let me show you this die set. Okay, I, w I went on and on. It comes with these leaves, which I loved because you can use those for layering. It comes with the word explore and believe. It comes with the piece you need to make the spine, the piece you need to create your windows. You can turn it into shaker windows. So there's a lot of pieces in this set. I think it's going to be great for every season um, and something you can use throughout the year. You can certainly create a mini album with it, an embellishment book, a card. Um, I think this is surprisingly a really great die to have in your stash that you can use multiple ways so those are always fun and good right that's the first one the second one I'm going to share today this one I'm going to use in my project you guys look at the, the tutorial we're going to put together today look at these letters aren't these so stinking cute I just double layered them um and I just love the font I love me a good alphabet die you guys know I use alphabet dies a lot in my projects um they just it's just a really easy great way to um, what did I do? Did I put this? I glued this on backwards. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to fix that. Um, it's a really great way to embellish just a plain alphabet die set is a really great way to just embellish your projects. So <clears throat> I'm glad this came apart because now I can share with you how I put it together. Basically I cut these letters out of pink cardstock, different shades of pink, and then, um, a gold glitter cardstock. And I wanted to layer them like that. Um, look at that. Isn't that so easy and cute? And like I said, I love this skinny font. The, the size of it is just perfect for embellishing, embellishing. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those letters in just a bit. So that is the next one. This is also a Mentopia die that you can pick up at Scrap Diva. 
then we have this one. This one's keychain number two. It's super easy to put it together. So I just have a little project share. She's also going to go on the little uh, to bag tutorial that we're doing today. Um, she's just adorable and really easy to put together. And she has a little pocket. So I think this is super cute to hang on the little tote and maybe have like a spider or a ghosty shaker kind of spilling out of her. I think that's what I'm going to do with her. Add a little shaker in here. Um, but for today's sake, we're just going to do the little assembly tutorial and then I'll embellish it off camera because I'm taking forever. Um, so these are all the pieces that this keychain die comes with. Like I said, this is a uh, keychain number two. It comes with the base piece, a little pocket piece, a bow, um, some layering pieces. This little piece right here layers that little pocket piece and it's just super cute, super cute and very easy to put together. Okay. And then last but certainly not least, we have these two right here. So I've got the ruffle die. I created a little ruffle here. I've been having a lot of fun with this. So I made a little ruffle for my jelly tote that we're gonna create today, okay? And then I also used the ruffle on my pockets. Look at how stinking cute it looks on these little pockets. I did a little ruffle on each one of these as well. Um, and I think it just adds a little extra detail to it that's really cute, you know? I mean, how cute is it to have a, a ruffled paper? Adorable, right? And, um, and then we're going to do a little assembly tutorial on this jelly tote bag number two. It comes with all these pieces. So you'll cut two of these out, one for the front, one for the back. You'll cut two of the handles out, one for each side. You'll cut two of these out. Um, these, of course, create the side of your tote. And then I just cut one of each of these um, for the, the base piece. Okay, so let's move these aside and get to it. I have not even really looked at it I'm assuming that I'm gonna know how to put this together um, just because we did the first one together and it was fairly easy so it's got tabs as you can see here these are all the pieces I have okay let's spread them out two of these and then we have one that has the stitch detail all the way around um, that's gonna be your layering piece and then this is gonna be your base piece two of these two of these and two of these and see how they have little embossed lines on here um, we're gonna fold up on those tabs and that's how you know what goes adhered to what okay so we're gonna fold up on all of those tabs and we're gonna adhere Our base piece to that. It's always important to get your glue all the way to the corners and edges. I didn't put enough glue on here, but you know how it's important to do that so your edges don't lift, okay? And then you just line it up just like so. Apply some pressure to that with your bone folder and continue the process on the other side. handles and I think I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, so I think I want to add this right here and then each letter in between the ruffle in, in that or should I do it on the actual ribbon yeah right because then the ribbon's still gonna pop yes I think that's what I'll do spooky oh but then it's not even <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see. Let me see how I do. Okay, so I have my cubies out. I'm going to use my little strips because this is a skinny alpha. So I'm just, it's so perfect. It's already fixed for you. I'm just going to add my little cubies. Okay. And these stick, guys. Like, there's no, 
you don't need to hot glue or anything like that. Like it's gonna, it's got a good firm hold. Okay guys, look at this cutie patootie. Isn't that adorable? And then we just need to spice her up with a little spooky, maybe one of these little spooky charms. We just need to embellish her a little bit. I just wanted to share with you how easy it is to put this together. I think she is adorable. Again, all of this will be linked in the description of this video um, as, long, as well as my coupon code. So thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.